Hello my fae, welcome to my small mint, the best unit for makeup and hair tutorial and also products review. Today I'm going to show you how to create this right in the last dragon makeup tutorial. If you want to know how I able to create this right hairstyle, you can definitely check out this video right here. But no further ado, let's get started. Before makeup, I'm going to start with a skin prep. So I'm going to use this toners and apply it on this cotton pad and actually apply it all over my face because this is going to help me to take off any dirt and oil that lay on top of my skin. Next, I'm going to apply the thinnest formula, so it's going to be a serum. So I'm gently pressing the products into my skin so it can absorb better. Wait at least 30 seconds when the product's starting to dry before applying another product. Layering on top of the serums will be a moisturizer. I'm going to apply all over my face. This is going to help my skin feel hydrated and also moisturizing throughout the day. This process is really critical because it's going to help your foundations without looking patchy or cakey throughout the day. Another essential part that we usually forget is prepping our lips. So I'm going to use this Lano lips and I'm going to apply all over my lips so it can be nice and ready whenever I apply lipstick later on. Lastly, to finish off my skin prep, definitely have to be a sunscreen. For this product, I'm going to rub against my finger so the products could break down faster because usually if you don't break down the products of sunscreen, it's going to show a white cast. With my fingertips, I'm gently press the formula in so it can be well blended. With the leftover products, I'm going to bring it down toward my neck because that's going to be the place where it's going to show the first sign of aging. Before applying makeup, especially if your skin is dry, definitely apply primer. This is going to help your skin gripping better. Also, it's going to hydrate plus this product is going to help my pores going to be refined. I concentrate applying the primer toward my T-zones because usually that's the places I have a large pore and I'm going to spread it out evenly toward the outer pore of my face. Filling in my eyebrows help to frame my eyes makeup. With a light hand, I'm going to outline my eyebrows first before I'm going to fill them in. I like to start out framing on the bottom first, then go ahead and actually outline from the top. And I'm going to connect it toward the ends of my eyebrows. I'm going to fill in at the end of my eyebrows first, concentrating majority of the colors that is going to stay there, then gradually work toward the mid sections of my eyebrows. Rather than filling in toward the beginning of my eyebrows, I'm going to use a spoolie and brush it out instead. This is going to create a more looking natural eyebrows. Then use a sweeping motion throughout your eyebrows just to make sure there's not going to be any clumps. To refine the edge of my eyebrows, I'm going to use a Q-tip dip with the toner that I used earlier and go along the edge. It will help to collect any excess that should not belong in the outer rim. I like to put the foundation on the back of my hand using a damp beauty blender and blend it out evenly before I'm going to apply on my face. I apply the heaviest application on the center of my face because that's where I need the most coverage. Focusing in one area and keep blending in well until it looks flawless. Smoothing out the edge and make sure there is no harsh line is very critical. Moving along will be toward my nose, so I'm just going to use a dabbing motion until everything is blended in well and looks seamlessly. Once the center of my face is even, I'm going to bring out the products of leftover and pat it around the rim of my face. Blending out the edge and blur out any lines, I will pat it a few times to make sure it's even. This is an extra step that I love to do, is using a damp foundation and brush and lightly feather it out to make sure the product is well blended to eliminate any patchiness or cakiness on my face and the result it looked like I have an airbrush finish. To cover up the redness of my pimple, I'm going to use a tart shape tape in the colors not medium neutrals. Using my ring fingers and gently apply the products concentrating at that area and don't move it or try to blend it at this stage. I'm applying thin layer as possible but also enough to cover up the red spot. While waiting for the products to set for 1 or 2 minutes, I'm going to contour my face. I'm picking a concealer that is 2 to 3 shade lighter than my actual foundation to contour my face. The simplest way to highlight your face is actually think of a T-zone because that's where the light is going to hit the most, which is the forehead, the bridge of your nose, under your eyes, and also your cupid bow, and lastly will be your chin. 
Using the same beauty blender as earlier, I'm just going to blend it out and I'm going to bring the products up into the side of my eyes as the result is going to give me a lifted effect. I'm going to puff the concealer so it blends into my skin. I continue to pat and puff to blend creating the my skin but better finish. To blend out the bridge of the nose is a little bit tricky. Grab the sponge and squeezing from the top and using a dabbing motion to blend out from the tops and toward the bottoms. Keep doing this until it's well blended. Eliminate any harsh edge by dabbing until everything is smooth and even. Moving back to the spot treatment where I'm covering up my imperfection, I'm going to use my pinky and actually blending out the edge of the line. If you notice your concealers become a little bit dry and hard to move, then go ahead and use your ring finger and apply a little bit more pressure along the edge. But don't try to touch the center of your pimple because you want a lot of products to concentrate in that area. I'm going to use the same concealers but in a different technique, which will be an eye primer. Apply a thin layer on my eyelids, then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty sponge. Using my middle finger to press in the products, making sure everything is well blended and there's no harsh line. The benefit of doing this is going to show the colors more vibrant, long lasting, and without creasing. With Brian makeup, it's very natural on the eye, so I'm going to pick this color right here. Focusing on the outer corner of my eyes and in a windshield upper motion, sweeping back and forth concentrating the colors on the outer inner third. It's easier to build up the color, so don't pick up too much eyeshadows at first. Go ahead and blend it in, and if you want to apply more, then go ahead and add more. Move the shade up and blend around the orbital bones to diffuse the colors. Then I'm going to pick up a darker shade using a blending brush and apply under my natural crease line. I want to create an ombre effect which means the colors that is going to be closer to my lash line will be darker and the colors to the eyebrows is going to be lighter. When in doubt, if your eyeshadows have not looking good to where you desire, then keep blending. Picking up a darker colors with a round flat brush, I'm going to bring the colors toward the lower lash line and stopping halfway. Then bring whatever left over all along the lower lashes and back up. To create a bigger eye illusions and more like a cartoon effect, I'm going to use the slightest shade that have a dual chromes. I'm going to use a detail brush and actually apply at the inner corner of my eyes, then using my finger to feather it out so I can soften up the look. Lastly, grabbing a blending brush and using a sweeping motions back and forth to blend out any harsh edge and use a light hand to blend everything together. To create a wing line, I'm going to use an angle brush dipped in this brown colors. Deposit this on the outer third and close to the lash line, keeping the line lifted upward, not downward, and feather it out the line. Just use a tap tap motion to deposit the colors and this will prevent the colors eyeshadows falling under your eyes. I continue to scope out the line along the inner corners, keep this part lighter and the outer wings darker. The leftover shadow deposit this on the lower lashes line to create more depth. I purposely did not connect the eyeliner to the inner corners of my eyes and I want to leave it some gaps. This will help to imitate Raya eye shape better. And the result should look something like this, very lifted and also have an opening eye effect at the inner corner. This is optional if you don't feel comfortable with a liquid eyeliner, then definitely you can skip this step. But since you already have an outline, then go ahead and trace it out the outline that you already did. The best method to apply liquid eyeliners is using the tips. And this is currently my favorite eyeliners out of all the ones that I have used. And it's very pigmented and it helps to make a very clean and professional look. If you ever face a problem whenever you apply liquid eyeliners on the bottom of your lashes and it's not even, then go ahead and use an angle brush and blend it back and forth like this and everything will be smoothed out and look beautiful. I was not blessed with long and luxurious lashes, so definitely I'm going to apply false eyelashes. This is currently my favorite eyelashes glue since it's super sticky and also is a quick drying. You only need 15 seconds before drying. Look down 45 degrees so you have a better angle and lift it up your chin. You will definitely see a better line of your lash line. Then apply evenly, pressing your real eyelashes and false eyelashes together so it can be merging into one. 
Going back to the liquid eyeliners, I'm going to draw on top of the lash line to hide any imperfection of the glue and also to create my eyes looking bigger than it is. To finish off with the makeup look, I'm going to apply mascara. Since my eyelashes is super short, I'm going to use at the edge of this tube to prevent the mascara from spreading all over my bottom lid. To able to reuse the fake eyelashes and have a perfect form, I'm just only going to apply mascara toward the root. I'm going to press my eyelashes up and rub it back and forth so the products can concentrate and pack it in one place. So now that my eye makeup is established, I'm going to move on to contouring my face. To imitate Raya Natural Sun Kiss Skin, I'm going to use Hoola Benefit Bronzers. I'm going to use an angle brush, pack it on the colors, and tap out the excess before applying to my face. I like to press against the brushes so it can fan out like this. Then I'm going to use the tip of the brushes and draw an outline starting from the side of my ears and meet at the end of my lips. Then I'm going to buff the color to blend it in. The next part to scope out my face is alongside the rims of my hairline. So I'm going to apply in that area and blend it out into its blended well. The third point to scope out the face will be under the chin. So I'm going to use a sweeping motions and apply the products back and forth until it blended nicely to create a perfect V line. And I'm going to do the same to the other side, making sure both sides is symmetrical. Another part to contour will be my nose. So I'm going to use a small ankle brush, drawing an outline in front of my my eyebrows creating a nose bridge and drag it down toward the tips of my nose make sure that both sides is even as possible imprecisely most of the colors on the side of the nose and run it toward the front of the eyebrows when it's come to contouring you should not see any lines it should look like a shadows so if there's any line that is still not blended go ahead and blend it back and forth until it's nicely a shadows I'm also going to contour on the side of my nose. This is going to help me create a smaller, cute looking button nose. To create a perfect natural tan, I'm going to highlight a front of my cheekbones. So I'm going to use this color right here and apply with an angle brush and I'm going to sweep it upward on the side of my eyes. And as a result, it's going to give me a beautiful sun kiss glow. With a leftover highlight, I'm also going to run along the border of my face and down to my chin. The next process, I'm going to add some color to the apple of my cheeks bone using this peach color right here. I'm going to deposit the colors. With a smile, I will be able to find my cheeks bones better. And with an upward motion, I'm going to apply alongside my eyes. This is going to help me give it a lifted effect. Lightly feather it out to make sure that the product is well blended. I'm using Busem Lip Liner. I'm going to contour my lips, focusing on lifting the top part of my cupid bow higher for that sweet heart shapes. I'm also going to apply alongside on the bottom lips, making sure the upper and the bottom is going to be even as possible. Then I'm going to gently press my lips together for even applications, and I'm going to fill it in as needed. The last makeup technique I'm going to apply is using Urban Decay Setting Spray and I'm going to spray all over my face to lock this makeup in so I can maintain this look throughout the day. I hope you enjoyed this Raya makeup tutorial. There's another two video waiting for you to click. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications and be part of the family. Also give this video a thumb up and if you have any comment, concerns or requests, definitely comment down below because I love to read them and as always, love yourself, stay motivated, peace out.